everyone! I am coming today with a video on Cappadocia, Turkey. So to start off, we arrived to Cappadocia around 2 a.m. and our tour for the balloons started at 4 a.m. So definitely didn't get a lot of sleep that night. We did a tour with a company that picks us up from a hotel and gave us breakfast and drove us to the site of where all of the balloons were and it is so surreal and gorgeous just because you see all of these hot air balloons starting to get blown up and the sky is just starting to wake up and all of these balloons are just starting to just fill up the sky and it's honestly a really surreal and beautiful sight to see. Now one of the interesting things is that they do all of these air balloon flights from the time 4.30 to 6.30, 7 because that is kind of when it's cooler out and it definitely was cooler at that time. I brought a sweater, thankfully, but I was wearing shorts and I was <laughs> kind of freezing. Yeah, definitely bring a sweater at that time. It was around 65 degrees at 6.30, 4.30 in the morning, and the sun isn't out, so the temperature is kind of low. And the way that the balloon lifts itself is by the flames, which you're gonna see. And so the reason that they don't do it after the sun comes out is because it takes a lot more fuel to maintain the balloon up. So that was a cool little fact that I learned. And also, if you're afraid of heights like I am, this is not a situation in which you should be terrified thankfully because I was there and I was like freaking out like I didn't want to do it and I was like okay this is like a life or death kind of situation like this is on my bucket list I'm just gonna do it but then I actually got on and they started lifting and I was like oh this isn't terrifying this is actually really like pleasant and beautiful and it was a really great experience and definitely a sight to see. I really don't think if you're afraid of heights that it's going to be that bad. It goes through all of the valleys in Cappadocia and if you're interested, I didn't personally end up doing any hiking or ATV tours. There's also horseback riding. I just had other itinerary plans, which you will see. That was a gorgeous experience. And then afterwards, we celebrated by having some champagne and they give you a little certificate and yeah, you are now certified to have taken a hot air balloon in Cappadocia. After that, we got driven back home and we had another tour around 9 a.m. In Cappadocia, they have two or three tours. Generally, people stay around two or three days. And so they do something called a red tour and they do something called a green tour and so what this is is there are two different tours that take you around the north part of Cappadocia and the south part of Cappadocia and that was really cool just because the the experience was relatively cheap and they definitely do a lot of the work for you. Okay. 
Cappadocia is definitely one of those places where you need to have a car to be able to enjoy it fully. So the first day we started with the Southern Cappadocia tour. What's really nice about these tours in Cappadocia is that usually the tour buses pick you up in your hotel. And we stayed at a super nice hotel that has, you know, the characteristic cave hotel, even though it wasn't necessarily in a cave, but it's really pretty. Here is the bathroom. It's already a little messy because um, we've been staying here, but all in all, it's a really cute hotel. It has really like nice little touches, like a little carpet, a nice wooden material, these walls, and if I show you the exterior, you guys would love it. But anyway, I'm gonna take a nap because I've been up since 2, 3 a.m. and I woke up at like 4 and I went on a hot air balloon ride so I'm gonna take a nap for like two hours and um, then I'm gonna do like a tour the north part of Cappadocia and then the south part of Cappadocia I'll keep you guys updated We stayed at Kellebeck Special Cave Hotel. It was a great experience. There are so many dogs in Cappadocia. It's so great. <laughs> and another cool thing about Cappadocia is that it is a tourism town. So all of the tours, all of the like activities, most of the bus drivers will pick you up and you don't need to worry about that. First stop was at the Gorem Panorama, and it's a really pretty panorama view where you could see old Gorem village. And the tour guide just starts off by explaining the different like details of Gorem and Cappadocia, and he told us the reason that the mountains have such a fascinating shape, and this is because of all of the rainfall. And it's super cool. Highly recommend you do this tour. Definitely worth the time and they take you everywhere that you need to go. Then they took us to Derinkuyu Yeralti City, which is the biggest and deepest underground city of Cappadocia. There are eight levels, but we only got to go to six. And there are fun little tunnels that you can see. And what's really cool about this little underground city, apparently Cappadocia has a lot of these underground cities and they have a lot of history connected to Christianity back when Christianity was something that was frowned upon. As you know, back in the day when they had to hide their religion and all of this really interesting stuff. So they came to Cappadocia and they formed these underground cities and there you see that they had like vineries and churches and it's really cool to, to just see. It's a girl.
boy. at this place where they film Star Wars. Let me give you a good view. See how pretty that is. But I'm afraid of heights, so this is as high as I'll go. Unless I find an easier way to get up. Then we went to Ilara Valley in Canyon. It was really pretty to walk through. It was like a little hike. And then afterwards, they took us to a restaurant to sit down and have lunch. And that was completely paid for, so no complaints. Then we went to Pigeon Valley, which is located in Uchisar town. And it's just one of those beautiful panorama viewpoints where you kind of see that there are a lot of little holes within the mountain. And these are just like pigeon houses that people made for pigeons because apparently they're venerated in Cappadocia for many reasons. The next day, we were also picked up at 9.30. They took us to Uchisara Castle region, which is the highest point of Cappadocia. And they then took us to the Open Air Museum of Gorem. And this was a cool little park museum where we did some light hiking and they took us to this monastery where there's like rock formation churches, kitchens, and wineries. We went then to Devrent Valley, also known as Imagination Valley. And the tour guide was telling us of all these cool rock formations and how people call it Imagination Valley just because people see different animals in these rock formations. The one I saw was one that looked like a camel and one that looked like a snail, but besides that, I didn't, I guess I lack imagination. Really beautiful. Honestly, all of the mountain formations of Cappadocia are really cool, you know, very unique. There's nothing else on this earth like that. Definitely just makes it worth it just to visit Cappadocia. She used the wooden brush, she gets beginning part. They add 20, 30 pieces. Okay. And she will use the wheels. She's pulling the whole seed spinning process. Oh my gosh. <coughs> and, and if you don't mind, could you please touch over here? Touch, touch. Don't be afraid to touch. Touch. You can touch this. You can touch this. There's a song. You can touch this. There, there, there. <laughs>
this was my time in Cappadocia. I hope that you enjoyed and that you'll visit this extraordinarily beautiful place. There really is nothing like it in this world. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.